the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, today's Word of God is a great encouragement uh, to all of us who are struggling uh, to live a holy life. Uh, and look with me in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For they, though they fall seven times, they will rise again. But the wicked are overthrown by calamity. <coughs> Every time you fall, you need not be there in that um, rut of sin. You have to rise up trusting God's mercy. And since we now have a divine mercy, Jesus revealed his mercy to all of us through the saint Faustina that uh, his mercy is unfathomable. He's an ocean of mercy. You need to trust him. And if you trust him, even in your deepest sin, you are able to rise because more than your sin is his mercy. His mercy covers you and washes you from all your sin. You need to get up trusting the Lord. I may have fallen, I may have fallen repeatedly, but I always trust the Lord. I do not on purpose do it, but because of our weak nature, we keep falling. But one thing that gives me hope, that every time I fall and when I rise up in trust, in His mercy, uh, God always uh, lifts me up. God is always there for me. So may this word of God encourage for all those who are into addiction, all those who are struggling with whatever you are struggling with, that please rise again. Don't remain there. Don't be. Don't get stuck where you are. Um, even in the uh, world, there are people who are experimented later on. And if they had given up, they would have never come with the invention that we know them for now. But so it is teaching us that maybe one more time, give one more try, one more, one more trust in the Lord. May this word of God encourage you. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.